Hi, Alison Marsden here from Gardening by Design with a quick video tip. This one on planting bulbs in autumn for colour from Christmas right through to spring. Many spring flowering plants grow from a bulb and there is a huge array from tiny crocuses to statuesque tulips. But if you want a great display in spring, the time to start gardening is now. In autumn, you can buy dry bulbs online or from nurseries, garden centres, even supermarkets. I've just taken delivery of a box of bulbs for a gardening therapeutic project that I run and I thought it would be nice to have a look at some of our choices. To be honest I've never been a great fan of hyacinths out in the garden but I do like them as an indoor plant brought into flower with that fantastic fragrance for Christmas. If you're going to do this you need to look for bulbs labelled prepared. This means that they've been chilled artificially for a period so they like thinking that winter is over and as soon as they planted, they start to grow. So we'll be planting our prepared hyacinths in mid-October, one bulb in a one litre pot with multi-purpose compost and planted with the nose just at the level of the soil surface. You don't bury them deeply in pots to grow them indoors as you would if you were planting bulbs out in the garden. They will then sit in a crate uh, covered in uh, weed suppressant landscape fabric lets the water in but keeps the light out and they'll sit outside so they need to be kept somewhere cool and dark until a flower bud begins to emerge at the top of the bulb. At that moment you bring them indoors and keep them somewhere warm but not hot and light remember to keep watering and you should have a flower in beautiful fragrance in four weeks time. Next up we have a selection of daffodils which are all listed under Narcissus if you're looking them up and these will be planted later in October and into November. We'll plant ours in pots, but they go equally well in pots or the open ground. Daffodil bulbs have a thin, brown, papery skin and much longer noses than hyacinths. That's where the shoot will emerge. And you can see in the small bulb here, the old last year's dried off roots at the bottom, which gives you a bit of a clue that they all go pointy side up. As a rule with daffodils, the larger the bulb, the larger the plant and flower in the end, and we have two varieties to plant this year. The larger one, Carlton, is a standard big yellow daffodil, and the smaller one is Tetatet, -tet, well known as a much smaller, shorter, more delicate flower. I prefer to use dwarf daffodils like these Tetatet -tet -tet for naturalising in grass. The leaves are smaller, thinner and green, and they blend better with the grass as they die off. doesn't look quite so messy. Last to go in will be the tulips. These bulbs look and feel much more solid and smooth than daffodils. They really have a distinct appearance to them. They're traditionally planted later in November and December in the south of the UK when the weather is colder. The, the suggestion is that this can help reduce tulip fire, which is a fungus because of the cold temperatures. But that doesn't, there does seem to be some debate about that at the moment. Still, it spreads the planting out, gives you a little bit more time. The bulb in the picture was Tulip Blue Parrot. And we've bought these for the second year running because they're one of our favourites. The Parrot series of tulips have fringed petals and it really is a rich purpley colour rather than blue. I think it's probably impossible to get blue tulips but I'm sure people are trying. Tulips are best grown in a pot in compost rather than the ground if you've got a heavy soil. They're much more prone to rotting off and not appearing again after a wet winter, whereas daffodils are much more tolerant of that. There's more information about how the box of tricks can help you to plan, plant and look after your plot on my Gardening by Design website, where you can also buy topics and sign up for the newsletter. I hope to see you again soon. Happy gardening!